Hi Virgo, welcome to your December 2017 tarot reading. For Virgo, Sun, Moon and Rising, I'm Gemstone Tarot, joined by my cat Valentine, who is the sliver of black, who's really, really sleeping on the bed. So Virgo, do check out your weekly reading as well, that's just gone up for Saturday, which is today, the 25th, until the 2nd of December. It's also timestamped for each zodiac sign, so you can look up your sun, moon, and your rising, and you can cross-watch for everybody else as well. Virgo, 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 let's have a look. I'm using the huge tarot for you, Virgo. I will show you the box by Susan Hughes. If you want a private reading, you can book in the description box below. I'm taking bookings as well for Christmas presents if you want to buy one for a friend or family. And I'm doing 2018 overviews if you want one of those. And also if you want to donate to the channel, you can also do that in the description box or you can visit my website, gemstonesharrow.com. Thank you to everybody that has done that as well. It does help to keep the channel going and the videos flowing. Virgo, let's have a look for you. What does lovely Virgo need to know? Wow. For December. Now Virgo, there's a lot going on in December. It's going to be busy. <laughs> busy, busy bee. Wow. Woo! We have Jupiter moved into Scorpio in October. And then we have a full moon, a super moon in Gemini on the 3rd of December. The same day, Mercury goes into retrograde, although that's already underway, the shadow period. It's a lot to take in. It is the expansive planet of Jupiter going into the detective planet of Scorpio and digging for the truth and finding it. It is the full moon in Gemini wanting to blab and express it and talk about it and tell everybody and then Mercury going into retrograde standing in their way somehow. Now as a Virgo, it's going to mess with the details for you. It's going to pull up old feelings for you. It's going to bring up, I'm getting that quote from A Course in Miracles, love brings up anything unlike itself to be healed. I thought about that quote for about two years before I understood it. And when I understood it, it was only because I lived it. And that's what you're going to be in December, Virgo, is a living understanding. Let's make some sense of what I'm talking about. Now, what really interests me here, you got the Four of Cups in reverse. It's, an, it's feelings. Mercury retro, feelings flooding back. If you've managed to stay numb about a situation, if you've managed to be in denial about a situation, if you've been distracting yourself to not think about it, Mercury is going to bring up anything unlike itself to be healed. Things are going to come up. Either randomly, the feelings will just come, they will flow, you've been waiting, the tears will come. Or the person will show up. Now that's something that happens when Mercury's retrograde. People come out of the woodwork. Or situations resurface so you can have another go at them. It's a good and a bad aspect of Mercury retrograde. You know, it's kind of annoying because you feel like you were done with it. But if you were done with it, it wouldn't be coming up again. Five of Cups in reverse as well. Four of cups in reverse, five of cups in reverse. There's been spilt cups over a situation in the past that is resurfacing for you, Virgo. Next to it, the eight of cups in reverse. You walked away from this situation or they walked away from you. This is Mars, this is Saturn in Pisces. Saturn is the taskmaster planet who knows how to do the right thing, but it's always a pain in the butt. And Pisces is the universal lover. You really loved this person, place or thing. And it either walked away from you, which may be the case with the Five of Cups next to it, 
or you walked away from it or a combination of the two. Wheel of Fortune in reverse, Mercury retrograde, such a beautiful card, I have to show you this card. That's a horoscope wheel with a man and a woman chasing round it, beautiful isn't it? That's okay, that doesn't mean for me that you have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, it just is. Mercury's retrograde, Gemini's trying to blab. Jupiter's in Scorpio, unearthing everything. I mean, pff, all right, <laughs> you know, you just think, okay. Know that the wheel is unstable at the moment and that's all right. Difficult, more difficult when you're a Virgo because in my experience, Virgo likes things to be more planned or more stable. You know, not the cliche that Virgo is the walking spreadsheet just that Virgo likes to know where things are, even if they're messy. You're not going to know, especially where your feelings are this month. But there is conflict and chaos and there is method in the madness. Now you've got two eights. Eights would normally mean planned security. They would normally mean stability. It's a very stable number. And they're both in reverse. The Eight of Pentacles, I think this is Sun in Virgo actually, is in the reverse. Some of you questioning your job or career. When Mercury goes retrograde as well, it's a time of reassessment. Anything with re in, reevaluate, reassess, redo. Some of you, if your job has become monotonous, this is knocking out the same pentacles every day. They look the same, they're uniform. You nail them to the thing. And some people are happy with that for a while. You may not be getting enough money for it. You may be seeking promotion, diversity, whatever it is. You may be rethinking that. Or rethinking how much effort you're putting into something, certainly. And again, two of wands in reverse. Something may have been started that hasn't quite come off. Hold off while Mercury's retrograde. You don't know if that's going to work or not. That could be the relationship that went wrong. Five of cups in reverse, eight of cups in reverse, four of cups in reverse. However, all of this activity, all of this feelings coming up and this rather messy emotional I called it for Leo, a casserole of nonsense. I know that's Stewie from Family Guy. Casserole of nonsense. And it is, you know, to a certain extent, I'd like to say don't take December too seriously. But with Jupiter in Scorpio, Scorpio is a serious place to be. Um, Scorpio is brilliant at getting to the truth. So there's no avoiding the truth. And if the truth is how you feel, it's going to come slap you in the chops, but it's about time. Because until you feel it, you can't release it, Virgo. And then you get the Eight of Swords in reverse, which I like. When it's in the upright, look how it had you. Look, blindfolded, bound and surrounded by swords when actually you can walk forwards or backwards and be out of the trap. But it is a trap. Whatever this situation was, where love went wrong, it kind of held you captive and I don't really like the look of it. But I feel like it's all coming up. Love brings up anything unlike itself to be healed. And brave you, you're going to deal with it. In the middle, we've got the fool in reverse. This has come up for a couple of signs. And I'm glad to see it because it's the beginning of the major arcana. It's the beginning of the tarot. It's the zero. He's off on his travels. However, Mercury retrograde and all of the action that's going on in December would not be the right time to be making a leap. So, good. Stay in reverse, fool, as B.A. Baracus would say. I ain't getting on no plane, fool. Stay in reverse, fool. It's all right, I won't do many more accents. 
Then we have the Queen of Wands. I rather like this for you. I feel like you're getting your wands together. This is a fieriness. This is fire in your belly. This will light fire in your belly, which has been numbed out. I feel like you've been numbed out for quite a long time as a self-protection mechanism. And then the lovely, lovely Six of Pentacles pops in. This has come up in a lot of readings as well. Mercury retrograde, one of the Brucey bonuses, and my gum, there aren't many, is that money comes into you that was owed, which you never thought you'd get, you forgot about, or it's to do with insurance policies paying out, tax rebates, re-rebate, anything which is a do-over. It won't be fresh money that you're owed. It's like old money that you're owed. Oh, that's an interesting card. But that's nice. Old inheritance. It's um, long distance money. It's forgotten money. It's given up on money. Someone hasn't paid you for ages. And it comes without any explanation. With Mercury as well, it can be quite random. Take it. Who cares? You know, brilliant. Put it in the bank, Virgo. Bank it and move on. Because that's the bonus of the month, actually. I like the look of that. And then, heart of the fairy oracle, you get the messenger. Also like Hermes, which is a sort of a Mercury card. This is to tell you that this is a private reckoning. This coming to terms with what's happened with this Eight of Cups reversed, Five of Cups reversed. Don't listen to other people. Don't be looking on Facebook or any social media about this situation because the messages you will receive will be false in some way. The messenger runs around imparting information. Full moon in Gemini wants to impart information, wants to go and work the room, wants to tell everyone everything. You're going to want to talk this over with everybody or they're going to want to talk it over with you, whatever the situation is. Don't fall for that. Don't go talking on social media. Don't go looking on Facebook. Don't be, if you're heartbroken over somebody, don't be looking at their page wondering why they're with that person or not with that person or who's that person who like. Don't go down that rabbit hole. Mercury is retrograde. What you need to know will come and find you. You don't need to look and if you look it will evade you. It's a paradox but nevertheless Mercury retrograde is paradoxical. Believe me, I know. So don't go looking and if information comes your way question it and whatever you do if you're going to say anything back double check it. <laughs> Don't write anything down. My good old mum gave me that advice years ago. Brilliant. If you're not sure, don't write it down. Just don't write it down. Certainly don't send it. I mean, these days, um, I sound about 100 years old now. These days, if you stick something on the internet, pretty much that's it. Whatever you do, it's out there, isn't it? It's gone, it's shared, it's done. Be very, very careful, as you always are, Virgo. But, you know, with the Four of Cups, Five of Cups and Eight of Cups in reverse, you would be forgiven for not quite being on your game, for being a bit emotional. Yeah, Chuck Spezzano's Enlightenment card, Virgo. You get the Healing Card of Truth. I quite like this card for you. If there was a situation which hurt you deeply and you didn't get to find out what you needed to find out you now will but again don't go looking the truth with mercury comes up in such mysterious ways but it comes up it will come to find you you don't need to look what do we want chuck spezzano's love cards i think we'll have some of these Funny old month, Virgo, it really is. <laughs> Everybody's looking at redoing. Yeah, look what you get again. You get the healing card of communication. 
for some of you, you could rebuild something with someone here. That's why I'm saying don't shoot the messenger. Don't go looking at social media. You're going to get the wrong idea. It always looks much more shiny and bouncy than it really is. This is heartfelt communication. During Mercury Retrograde Virgo, you're going to hear from somebody and I feel it's going to be from the heart. Ho, 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 ho. The Tryst card, secret meeting. Just watch out if they are involved with someone else and they want to meet up with you. Do what you do in the full knowledge of what you know, but make sure you know by that time what the situation is so you can make a choice. Yeah. You get the irresistibility card. That's a gorgeous card. People flying over the hill to give you flowers, tickets, money, love, turtle doves, petals, whatever it is. I like this for you actually, Virgo. And also for some of you, it's a possibility to rebuild what was a very hurtful, difficult situation with somebody. But I'm not getting tricky swords cards coming up, so I'm not particularly getting betrayal. Yeah. You get go the distance. For some of you, there's a you not. It's not the end of the book. You know, it might be the end of the chapter, but it's not the end of the book. It's very, very intriguing. I'm going to do a couple of clarifiers actually. Let's just put those over here. Let's have a look. So I'm using the Mythic Tarot for clarifiers. Ooh. Whoa! That's cool. No one else has had that card. It's the nicest card I've drawn today, apart from the Miracles card for Leo. So if you've got any Leo in your chart, hop over to the Leo video and check that out. Oh, wow. Good for you. No, I'm going to shuffle a bit more. I feel like we need it to show itself, actually. In true Mercury Retrograde style, Virgo. Yep, there you are. Oh my God, you've got such nice cars as your clarifiers. <laughs> I love this. One more? Do we need one more? wanted one for up there. Oh, yes. All right, yes. For some of you, there's a second chance with something or somebody. Definitely. Four of Cups, you get the Judgment card, which is a card for second chances. In the upright, there's a possibility. Past, present and future are calling for judgment. Either you or someone else or both of you is having a second thought about something, reviewing something. Also, oh, she says knocking all her books all over the floor. You would not approve of this, Virgo, and you would know completely that I am your opposite sign. Pisces, completely unorganised, can't find the book, but nevertheless, he's got winged feet there, messenger as well, hmm, you will get a message or some kind of information coming in that will make you think twice about whether the things were so wrong, it's a second chance, I get second chance saloon coming in. That's for the Four of Cups judgment. For the Five of Cups in reverse, I get the star. One of the nicest cards in the entire deck. I love this card. Hope. This is Pandora's box. Panar. She's opened the box, which of course lets out all of the sadness, the 
uh, labour pains, the difficulties of the human race, um, which for you was all of the Four of the Cups, the Five of Cups, the Eight of Cups reversed. This was all let out, this did happen, but at the same time she releases the Fairy of Hope. Because there's always hope, hope springs eternal, there is hope. Judgment for the Four of Cups reversed, the Star for the Five of Cups reversed, and for the Eight of Cups reversed, the Six of Wands, the Victory card. Jason and the Argonauts, he's there retrieving the Golden Fleece, this is the point at which he gets it back. Hmm. Right then. I think we need some Romance with the Angels Oracles card, Virgo. Definitely leave me a comment about this. That one. Yeah, I knew you were going to get that. Now you need both of those. Oh, wow. <laughs> right. Okay. First off, the retreat card, which is like the hermit, which is your card. And you're good at this. Time to disconnect from the world. Now that means social media. Stop looking at their Facebook page. You, you know who you are. Okay. During Mercury retrograde, you're getting a time to think things through. You need the distance of not constantly looking. Then you get, pay attention to the red flags. And I knew you were gonna get this. When you make your judgment, pay attention to their status. With this card where we get tryst, pay attention to if there's any third parties in the mix that weren't there before doesn't mean it can't work out because your cards are very good for it. Judgment, the star, six of wands. But just be open to anything. Be open to possible red flags without being too overcautious. Past life relationship. Twin flame. You've known each other before, maybe several times. You don't know which part of the cycle this is, but this is why... You have the Four of Cups in reverse, the Five of Cups in reverse, the Eight of Cups in reverse, Judgment Star and Six of Wands. Okay. There is a chord that ties you to this person. There is a feeling that you've known them forever. This can go one of two ways, though. It doesn't always mean happy, um, easy relationship on the Earth plane, on this particular cycle of knowing each other. Sometimes this can be the cycle of knowing each other where love brings up anything unlike itself to be healed. That's where you're at. It's the first thing I said for your reading. This is really important. With pay attention to the red flags, pay attention to what this relationship with this person, whatever stage it's at, brings up for you to be healed. That's your red flag. It doesn't necessarily mean they are the red flag. It could be yours. Really interesting. Then you get romantic feelings. Your romantic feelings are worth exploring. This is so interesting for me, Virgo. I want to draw another card. Yes, I do. Sonia Coquette, Ask Your Guides is coming out. These haven't come out for anyone else, Virgo. They're coming out for you. Wow. Good. No, one more. Wow, Virgo. I love this. You get the victory card, the divine helpers. That's beautiful. And the stars are there too. Remember the star card? You've got some help here. You know, divine timing. We can't know about the timing of everything that's going on in this particular cycle or earth plane, you have some help there. And new beginnings, more stars, the Divine Fathers, new beginnings. This is fantastic. Let's have a healing with the Angels Oracle card for lovely Virgo. You must leave me a comment. 
Ooh. Good. You get the listening card. If you have this kind of spiritual good juju knocking around, you need to be listening with every kind of listening ability you have, not just human. You will know what that means. Listen, look and feel for signs, dreams, especially around the time of the full moon in Gemini. You won't find what you need to find by looking on social media or trying to get in touch with them or any of that. You're going to get it in a much more spiritual way. Wow, your reading is so interesting, Virgo. If you want a private reading, you can book in the description box. Check out your weekly reading. I do daily readings as well every day. Virgo, leave me a comment and do subscribe if you're new and hit the like button. Namaste.